You know what's about to happen? My body's about to change. You know what I'm talking about right now? Right now, you know what's gonna happen right now? We're gonna find the truth out right now. That machine over there is gonna tell us how you've been living your life. Putting it all out there. I usually, you know, I'm doing this with bro. I'm about to get serious with my, with my fitness for and my you. health. It's not for me. Um, Yo, yeah. this is for you, but not for me, bro. <laughs> I'm good. Have a seat. My name is Willie Norpol. I'm a recording artist. I was formerly signed to Ludacris, DTP, Def Jam. Now I'm going the independent route. What I'm trying to do is step into the fitness. I know it's very important with the new music I got coming out with my new image, everything. And I know I'm not like in terrible shape, but I really want to take it up a notch. Like I really want to, I really want to extend. Like I, I want to excel. Like I want to have certain stuff that I've never seen before in my body. And I feel like I can do it with a healthy nutrient. I've never eaten healthy. I've never even tried to eat healthy. <laughs> Weight measurement is completed. Okay. Now grab these handles for me. All right. Put your thumbs on that contact point. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Stand up straight. There you go. Why are you standing like that? Man, because I had to do this. This is so weird. Yeah. Don't do that. So now we're going to get a complete measurement of your body fat, skeletal muscle mass, and your water levels. <laughs> What's up, Fight Camp? This is your boy, Mike Rashid. So what we're gonna do this time, it's a little bit different. I have a friend of mine, his name is Willie North Pole, and he's a cool dude, hilarious actually. He's actually a rapper. I mean, he's big time, he's made it to the top of the game, but he, he took a little hiatus and he's making a comeback. But this time he wants to tighten up his body, his physique, because, you know, albums, the music being good is one part of it, but the look is is a huge part of it as well. So he's going to be my project right now. You know, I'm going to see if I can whip him into shape in about mm, eight weeks. That's two months. All right, so Will, so I'm putting these trackers inside of, these punch trackers inside of your uh, hand wraps. There you go. Okay. And what he's going to do is track your punches. What you're going to do today is a, a sprint. So it's basically 10 seconds off, kind of like Tabata, 10 seconds off, on. Pop, pop, going all out, five seconds of a break. 10 seconds work, five seconds break. Okay. Until I tell you stop, okay? Okay. And we'll be able to track your progress. So it actually, it's actually gonna track all my punches. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. These are actually amazing the way they feel. Yeah, I'm, sometimes you, keep, you don't feel like rap, doing all that rapping. It takes about right. 10 minutes to put on hand wraps. When I used to put on wraps, they literally take that long. Left hook. This thing's supposed to go down like this. Mm. Yeah, if you don't. About to fight blue face. <laughs> We're gonna knock you out. <laughs> blue face. Willie, Willie North Pole calling you out. What you gonna do? <laughs> what you gonna do about it? Uh, not that thing. In the fight camp, uh, the fight camp workouts that Mike Rasheed is bringing to me, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm, I'm a little nervous. I'm a, I'm a little nervous about it only because I know he's been doing this his whole life and it looks easy, but I know it's not gonna be easy. Um, I'm excited about it at the same time. Fall out. Move on the back. So what? Time. Five second break. How you feeling? All ready. All right. All right, let's go. Right back at it. Move on the back. There you go. So a typical training camp is two months to three months. So this one would be two months and it's not somebody he has to fight, right? So I guess he's fighting against himself. Like every group of friends I've always been around, I'm the ringleader getting everybody to work out. He and I used to be the same back in the day, but he fell off a little bit. 
And it's not like he's in bad shape, but he could be better. What it all starts right here, man. Call a, call an ambulance. I'll wait till you get up. Maybe you should sit down and hear this. You don't want to kick a man when he's down? <laughs> okay. Okay. Wear yourself out there. All right. All right. What would you say your body points? fat was percentage? I would say about 80%. Maybe 50, 40. I don't know. No, honestly, what would you say? Um, about 20, 30. 20, 30. That's a big, Is that a big? 18. 18. It's not the terrible, but it's not good. But what's all this? It's, it's called muffin top. Time. Time. Five. Last time. Four. Three. Get your mind right. Two. One. Let's finish strong. Let's go. Get to it. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Once this entire transformation is complete, I really want to have my entire family doing this fight camp. Seriously. So BMI 26.4. Um, so you see here, this is the the pounds of your left, right, left arm, trunk, right, left leg. Mm -hmm. Pretty symmetrical for the most part. Visceral fat level seven. Visceral fat is the fat that's over your organs. So it's not the fat that's here. Like if you notice, Willie actually has like pretty lean uh, arms and, and actually torso too. Like it's not a whole lot of fat here, but that's common for males who are active and have some experience in the gym. They don't hold a lot of fat on their appendages, their legs and arms. It's all here. Yes. It's all from the from the neck to the belly, and that's the worst place for it to be. Because Unfortunately, that's, that's yeah. the easiest place to build it. Yeah, it's it's over your organs and it impairs everything from your insulin sensitivity to your heart function. Right, so mm. you're far more likely to die from heart disease, diabetes, and various cancers if that visceral fat level is higher, fat over your organs. So we need to get that down under five ASAP. Dramat dramatically. Not dramatically, no, like it's, it's like- not, It's not terrible, yeah. it's not, you know, it's better than average, right? But the lower the better. And what I'm gonna do every day that we train, he's gonna do a fight camp workout from the app from one of these dope trainers, all right? So, and on top of that, we're gonna mix my craziness with it. He's stubborn. He don't wanna do this, he don't wanna do that, but I have ways to circumnavigate that. He's gonna be doing it anyway. And honestly, I don't care what bro say, I'm not running. Like, he's gonna have to figure something out. Like, seriously, I, I just don't, I feel like a, a man my age shouldn't have to run. How you feeling? I feel like I'm being watched, that's for sure. This is gonna be one of them uh, things that I really have to push myself. God damn, I'm tired. Another thing, I'm not doing burpees. There's no way I'm doing burpees. I'm not doing that. Okay. He said he's not gonna do burpees? Watch this. Burpees gets you to the money. Straight up. I'm gonna commit to burpees every day. All right. And that's, that's my word. All right, commit to another set. How does people get mentally into that to where the fuck is like they just go? We're like, what's no problem? How do they do that? When you start seeing results and feeling better, it starts changing you. If you take breaks, that's dangerous. It's a slippery slope because you get stuck. You start getting used to that. That's why you want to get so much momentum going, 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 and progress, 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 to where you don't want to lose it. There's so many benefits from getting in tip top shape. You're going to feel better. You're going to sleep better. Sex is better. How your clothes fit is better. How people treat you is better. The level of respect goes up. There's no lie. With all that said, I'm motivated. I'm motivated to do everything that I said I wasn't gonna do. Especially the burpees, because they're, they're hard, but that was 10 minutes, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that can become 15 minutes. That's it for today, my brother. My man. I see you, my man. I'm gonna tell you like this. 
But yeah, I'm not getting up no serious. Thank you, man. I love you, brother. Seriously, man. Thank you, man. All right. Fight camp. Fight camp. We out of here. Yeah. See y'all next week. <laughs> One thing I'm not doing is squats, and I'm definitely not doing them every day. I know that's his thing, but I'm not doing no squats. I can't. My body's not made to do squats every day. I don't think a human is not made to do squats every day. Because this ain't just about you getting ripped. This is about you being healthy and having longevity. We had a private conversation last night, and he said that health as well. And I've heard that before, but he Never really broke that. it down to me. Because it didn't sound right. I hate when other people say it, but when you, but when you really think about it, like, like Sean just said about Look, the diabetes. If we're going to do this, we're gonna do this, be honest. So in eight weeks, we're going to check these numbers again, right? We got eight weeks. We'll check in four weeks and then again in eight weeks. Let's get away. Okay. Make sure we're on the right path. Yeah. Because if we ain't, we gotta adjust.